Caramba City is a fast-growing city in the southern part of Metro Manila, which is formed part of Laguna Province. Calamba is known also to be the birthplace of Dr. Jose Rizal. And uh, there's a diverse activity here in Calamba. More or less, we have uh, around half a, half a million uh, daytime inhabitants. And Calamba now is a booming city. And uh, most of that comes from the industrial sector. And more or less, we have nine industrial parks. The very purpose or the very objective of this K-12 program is to produce holistically developed Filipinos endowed with the 21st century skills. Whatever track or whatever path they take in life, we would like to be sure that what we have developed in them in the senior high school would be very relevant to their lives in the future. Pinili ko po yung track ng STEM dahil po alam ko na yung science, technology, engineering, mathematics po siya po yung talagang inline para may turo sa amin yung mga nararapat naming matutunan at maging paghahanda po namin sa kolehiyo at sa pagtapa ko po sa kurso ng engineering. Inaasaan po namin at sana nga po ay makapunta rin po kami at makarating sa mga aktual na gawain lalo na po din sa mga planta at pagawaan na kung saan din po talaga nagtatrabaho yung mga professional na mga engineers. In their grade 11 and 12, we wanted that the skills to be taught in school should match with what is expected, with what is required as far as our locators are concerned. Our locator, our manufacturing locators needs students or workers with good work attitude and values. And that makes us interested in this program of the national government, which is popularly known as K-12. We are manufacturing industry for the using the scientific technique. However, to operate the company, the human resources or general affairs, of course, the accounting, it needs a more wide range of uh, education system. Uh, the industry partners were very clear and very definite on the competencies that they require from their uh, students who would be graduating from the senior high school program. It was a challenge for us to accept the partnership because that means we would review the curriculum, we would enrich the curriculum, and we would try to contextualize the curriculum based on the needs of our students and, uh, and the partners, of course, to make uh, the senior high school program relevant to the lives of the students. Uh, when we had our meeting with our stakeholders, these are the different uh, issues that are being transpired. Most of the incoming employees are very poor in mathematics, especially for fundamental operations. When it comes to protocol, hindi nila alam kung paano ba talaga ang gagawin, sino at ano ang kanilang gagawin at bakit nila ito gagawin. Actually, we are engineering-oriented company. So we need a more good skilled engineer and experienced engineer. However, unfortunately, the, some weakness of our educational system is the score in the entry or applicant. The mathematics is weaker than another country. So we have to emphasize strong implementation with the mathematics curriculums in here in the Philippines. Nakikita nila na kailangan ipasok talaga sa curriculum natin yung kanila mga pangailangan na to to avoid mismatch in education. From that, we harmonize the existing DepEd curriculum with their needs. So dito na nga nagsimula yung tinatawag natin contextualization of curriculum. In that scenario, we didn't put anything away. We said, wala kami tinanggal sa curriculum, but we enrich the curriculum by incorporating the different competency needs of these identified companies. We volunteered ourselves to participate in the curriculum development with the same objective of improving the curriculum or improving the, the manuals that are contextualized on what DepEd will be doing. When we integrated competencies that were not found earlier in the curriculum that has been prepared by DepEd. The next step was to develop the learning materials that the students would need to be able to meet these 
competencies that we would be developing in them during the senior high school program. The program is necessary, right? It's so important for, the, for society in the Philippines to close the two-year gap to help the students be prepared to contribute in the work environment. Here in uh, Plant Calamba, we have a pretty good business. The growth of uh, driver assistance systems and vehicles is really ex exploding worldwide. We're participating in this. We're making all kinds of new products. Right now, we have about 800 employees. 85%, maybe 90% are from within a couple of kilometers of our plant. With our new businesses, we're planning to almost double our employment in the next three years. We're so much happier to have a, uh, the, the next two years added so that they can learn about math, language, working in a, uh, a manufacturing environment or a laboratory or other things that are technical. The skills that are being developed in the K-12 program, they very much match the skills that we need for the future growth of our plant. We're happy to have careers that extend long term to support our long term businesses. It's, it's a real win-win uh, situation. With the grade 11 and grade 12 skills training, all JT on the job training program, that we will increase so that the skills that is learned on the job would really be meaningful and would really be required by the company. Let's say in English, a creative writing. So, and then yung mga communication, iba't ibang uri ng communication sa pasulat man o pasalita. Na andyan din tinatawag nating protocol. Simpleng paikipag-usap, simpleng paggawa ng mga letter, simpleng pagsunod sa mga tagubilin inside the company. We have to ensure that what we are offering in the curriculum are competencies that the students will live by. Skills that can be shown, that can be manifested and can be used even after school. It's also important that uh, the partnership not only is done within DepEd and our industry partners, the support of the local government is very important also. Uh, personally, I agreed on the K-12. In fact, I'm supporting K-12 here in the city of Calamba as the chairman of the local school board because it's really an investment. We want the students to be equipped. We want the students to have more information. We want the younger generation to have an opportunity to have options. Success of the collaboration is basically from the groups of the educators, the deaf ed people, the locators, particularly the HR managers, who gave us the competency skills that are specifically required per production line, per product, per company, which never happened in the past. The participation of the binder, the binder is IGFI, the, the Asia Foundation, the Australian Embassy, our organizations that brought them together so we were able to bring up a program that is useful, timely, and meaningful. It's something that strengthens the competitiveness of the Philippines as an environment. The learning experience is, is much fuller, much more rich, uh, much more valuable. I think the preparation and when the students here together, you know, it really prepares the student for life. Uh, I believe is a historic event in the educational system of this country that would bring us to the levels of the other developed countries, particularly in this part of the region. I am also inviting or encouraging the rest of the divisions to also get into the same partnership that we have had with the IGFI, the Asia Foundation, because uh, this is really looking into the lives of the students now when they are in the senior high school program and even after they graduate from this program. They can make use of all this in their future lives.